Hello, Mila here, and this is Cult Metal Classics episode 3, we're going to talk about Voivod War and Pain album, so, um, yeah, this is my favorite Voivod album, and let's talk a little bit about Voivod, they're from Canada, and they're from the French-speaking part of Canada. Um, on this album, you have the classic lineup of Snake as the singer, Away on drums, Piggy on guitar, and Blackie on drums. And this album came out in 1984 and was one of those really early thrash albums. And um, <clears throat> At this period, 83, 84, <clears throat> maybe up to 85, thrash wasn't completely defined as a genre. People were making it up as they went along. Later on in the 80s, thrash, thrash was pretty much defined as in, uh, this is thrash, that's not thrash kind of a deal, you know? And Voivod had a completely different take on it. You think about it. The only thrash albums that came out before this was what? Uh, Metallica, Kill Em All, Slayer, Show No Mercy, and then, I don't know, the same year, Anthrax, Fistful of Metal came out, but I kind of consider Fistful of Metal to be a speed metal album with two, you know, uh, Death Riders, a thrash song, but th the rest of that album is speed metal, you know? So, <clears throat> very early thrash wasn't necessarily defined and Voivod's take on thrash was vastly different than everyone else's very very original I mean um, Snake's voice not just you know because of his French Canadian accent <laughs> his voice is completely different than everyone else Piggy I mean um his guitar work is just completely different than everyone else. Voivod, period, doesn't sound like any other band. And Voivod gets a lot of attention. I always hear, like, uh, metal magazines always talking about their third and fourth album, Killing Technology and Dimension Atros. That's when they started mixing Fog with Thrash. And, um... They're, they're good albums, but to me, War and Pain is way better. War and Pain is just straight up metal. It's not prog. It's straight up thrash, but it's weird. Weird riffs, weird solos. The whole structure, everything is weird, which I love. And just bashing you over the head, fist pumping metal. Mm. So... Um, I highly recommend, I mean, this is my favorite Voivod album, and I love all periods of Voivod. They had a lot of different stuff going on, and uh, even their new albums I like. But um, this is it. This is my favorite Voivod album, and I think for all the thrashers out there, I can't see how this is, I can't see how you could prefer a different Voivod album to this one, if you're a thrasher. And so... Voivod was very, very underground in the 80s and early 90s, and then uh, they uh, split up with Snake and Blackie leaving, and then it was just P and Away, and they got uh, Eric Forrest on bass and singing with those two albums, Megatron and Phobos. Well, I like that period too. I like that period too. It was definitely heavier, but a way different sound. And then they reform with Jason Newstead instead of Blackie. Snake came back. And they were on uh, Uranium and Headbangers Ball with the video for We Carry On. And they were on Ozfest. And this is when I found out about Boy Black. Uh, you know, I was very late to the party. <laughs> By the time this is what, 2003 or 4, uh, I think it was, two, it had to be 2004, 
maybe 2003, 2003 or 2004 when they did Ozfest, and uh, when they had the video and everything, and I discovered them, and that one, I wouldn't even consider it, it's definitely not a heavy album, more like a, it's a kind of a hard rock album with Jason Newstead, and I dug it, but I went back and I've seen like older on Metal Blade, back in the 80s, Metal Blade, like back when Metal Blade was, when something was on Metal Blade, you know it was good. Back in the, in the 80s, especially mid 80s, early to mid 80s, if it was on Metal Blade, chances are it's pretty good stuff. And um, I just fell in love with this album, Warren Payne. And I've listened to all their stuff, I've got all their albums, and I like them all, but this is the one for me. This is the one for me that is a, a big cut above everything else, Warren Payne. And, um, so what do you guys think about Voivod? What's your favorite Voivod album? And uh, what do you think of Warren Payne and Voivod's take on Thrash? Everybody focuses more on the prog periods of Voivod, and everybody seems to skip the bus when Voivod was beat you over the head thrash. So, uh, and very original beat you over the head thrash that didn't sound like anyone else, for sure. Um, you know, Piggy's a very underrated guitarist. He said he's got made how many different styles, not just original guitar tone, but whole different styles of guitar playing. Not just one, several. Um, you look at Boy Rod's discography, you can see none of their albums, they don't sound like anyone else. And um, most bands are lucky if they get one distinct sound, and you know that that's them. Boy Rod has many distinct sounds. So, uh, yeah, definitely a band to check out, and don't miss out on the rest of their discography as well. Some of it you might like, some of it you might not. But if you're in the metal, I think you can't go wrong with Warren Payne. The follow-up Roar is the same thing as Warren Payne, too, just slight progression. But I think uh, Warren Payne beats it out a little bit on rawness. And, uh, yeah, can't go wrong with this. A kind of classic, and I think this should be put on a pedestal with Kill Em All and Hell Waits, as far as Thrash is concerned. And I'm not the only one that thinks that. Just, uh, you know, there's a lot of old Thrashers that definitely put Boy Vod on the pedestal where they should be, as uh, legends. And, uh, so that's it for today, for today's episode. Uh, what do you guys think of Warren Payne, man? I can't get enough of it. I listen to it all the time. I got it on my phone and the headphones. Uh, and I, I constantly play this out. It just does not get old. So, there it is there. Uh, keep metal alive. Spread the word. You know, even though Boy Boy's already got kind of a following. And people know who they are, but everybody forgets about this album. Turn somebody on to Warren Payne. So there we go, there we go. So go ahead, spread the word, you know, and let me know what you think. And what you think of the series of uh, cold metal classics, what do you think I should put up next? And uh, I'm definitely going to hit you with something more obscure next time, something that nobody's heard of. Either you like it or you won't. So, until yeah. so next time, Mila here for cold metal classics. All right. <laughs> Stay